Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education. I'm also a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, I will be going over dimensional analysis, the basics. This is one method out of many that is used to solve dosage calculation problems. This video will be super basic because you need to get the foundation down before you can do harder problems. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, make sure you turn on that notification bell. This helps other students find my channel as well as I need to pay out student loans. So I'm going to keep harassing you until you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you tell other people too. All right, let's go. Okay, I will start this by saying the hardest thing about dimensional analysis is probably the name. It's a super simple way to calculate problems. It works because I'm definitely not a math whiz. Math was not my subject. I loved reading, writing, creativity, all those things, but math was not my forte. So I made a video on how to convert from like kilograms to grams or grams to milligrams, milligrams to grams, and so on and so forth. You can check out that video. Um, this is a chart that I made real quick. It just shows that when you're moving in the direction of down or to the right, then you're making the number larger and you're moving the decimal point three places. If you're moving up the staircase, then you are making the number smaller. You move the decimal, you move the decimal three spots to the left. So one, two, three. I made a little mnemonic that this was King Arthur, this was Guinevere, this was Millie, their child, and Mickey, their child also. And that, you know, usually men are larger, so that he's the largest unit of measurement. She's the second largest. Millie, the daughter, is the third largest, and Mickey is the fourth largest. Keep in mind that these are the measurements that are used in nursing and that there's other units of measurement, but we don't really use those. So I'm sticking with what you use, right? So um, Ritonavir is an antiviral. The ending, just a little tip, pharmacology tip, if you're ever trying to learn um, farm, then memorize endings of the generic names and VIR a lot of times will be an antiviral. So you know it's an antiviral of some sort, you're just not sure, but this is for HIV. So um, ritonavir, the order, always start with O and S. What's the order? And the order is 0.2 grams orally two times a day. The supply it comes in 100 milligram tabs. So the supply is ritonavir 100 milligrams. Now, some of you can do this in your head, but if you're just starting out, let's walk this. So step one, you're going to convert grams to milligrams because again, that's what we have here on the label. So in order to convert the 0.2 grams to milligrams, we're moving in this direction and after grams comes milli, right? After guinevere comes milli. So we have the decimal point here, we multiply by a thousand or AKA we just move the decimal three places, one, two, three. In the little uh, pockets here, you add a zero wherever there's a pocket, boom, boom, we have 200 milligrams. Well, this is 100 milligrams. Each tab is 100. So how many tabs do I have to give to equal 200 milligrams? Two tabs, right? The new order is 200 milligrams. So order states give 200 milligrams orally two times a day. Each capsule, I wrote capsule, but it should be tablet. So each tablet is 100 milligrams. How many tablets? 100 plus 100 is 200. The answer is two tablets orally two times a day. Next, we have Kozar Losartan. This is an ARB and it helps with blood pressure, angiotensin receptor blocker. So with the Losartan, we have 0.1 grams daily orally. The supply is Losartan 50 milligrams. Again, we're moving from grams to a smaller unit, so the number needs to, we need to move to the right. We're going down to the right, we're moving the decimal point to the right. So step one, convert 0.1 grams to milligrams. So 0 0.1, 1, 2, 3, add the zero, that's 100 milligrams. 100, so now the new order is 100 milligrams daily. Same thing, just a different way of saying it, right? Tomato, tomato. So if this is 50 milligrams, how many tablets do we give to equal 100? Two tablets, because 50 plus 50 is 100. One tab plus one tab equals two tabs. One plus one is two. Answer, two tabs. Then we have cefazolin, which is an antibiotic, and the order is 500 milligrams IM 
every eight hours. Okay, so how many are we giving per dose? How much are we giving per dose? Again, always start with what's the order, what's the supply? And for this one, you actually had to read, if you go down here, it says that you read through all of this, blah, 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 and then it's 330 milligrams per milliliter. Again, when we're giving something IM, we need to know, we need to find the milliliters of it because we're injecting a liquid. We need to know the volume. That is our unit of measurement. So when you're doing dimensional analysis, you write down the unit of measurement you need it to be in the final step. So it's milliliters. That's what we're looking for. And then whatever you're looking for, you put at the top. So it's one milliliters, one milliliter has 330 milligrams. So we put one here at the top because we're looking for milliliters, so milliliters and we put milliliters at the top. And then one milliliter has 330 milligrams. We need to cross out milligrams and you can cross out things in math that are opposite from each other. So if milligrams is here at the bottom, milligrams has to be at the top so that we can cross these out in the future. So um, one milliliter has 330 milligrams. The next thing that we're doing is it come, the order is 500 milligrams. So 500 divided by 330, if you wanna simplify it because there's two zeros, you can cross these out. 50 divided by 33, you're going to get 1.5. And the only unit of measurement that is left over is milliliters. So again here, we have one milliliter, we crossed out milligrams, we multiplied this across 50 divided by 33 because we crossed out the zeros and we get 1.5. We choose the unit of measurement that's left over and the answer is 1.5 mLs. Now, when you're reading a question in nursing, be very, very careful with what place do they want you to round to? If Did they say round to the tenths, round to the hundredths? So a lot of times students will miss a dosage calculation question because they rounded to the wrong place. If you do this on a calculator, it comes out to 1.51 milliliters. And if they had asked for the tenth and you wrote 1.51, you get it wrong because you didn't round to the right place. So read carefully in nursing. The last example that we have is Benadryl or diphenhydramine, right? So diphenhydramine, uh, the order is 25 milligrams orally every six hours as needed. The PRN got cut off there. It comes in 12.5 milligrams per five milliliters. Again, we need milliliters. So because we put milliliters here, we put milliliters at the top. 5 milliliters, 5 milliliters contains 12.5 milligrams. We have milligrams here. We need to put milligrams at the top so that we can cross it out. So then you multiply across. 5 times 25 is 125 divided by 12.5. Your answer is 10, and the only unit of measurement that is left over is milliliters. So your answer is 10 milliliters. I hope that helps. Again, this is how you set up your math problems and dimensional analysis. If you want a free copy of this PowerPoint, feel free to email nursingwithprofessorb at gmail.com. I just ask that you please subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.